Hey you guys, it's Sonia. I'm back. Like I said, I would be back. Let's talk about lock detoxes. So this past Sunday, I had my hair appointment. It was supposed to be Saturday, but some things happened. Um, my lactician has some issues with her little one, an emergency, so I get it. No big deal. We rescheduled. So for this appointment, I had a lock detox. And so, um, I hadn't had one. This was my very first one, so I was pretty excited about it. And if you don't know what a lock detox is, it's basically when you use baking soda, apple cider vinegar, lemons, real lemons cut up, and um, warm water, hot water. And you basically, you lean back in the shampoo bowl at your salon, and you can also do this at home. And um, she fills it up with warm water, and then she, you know, pours baking soda over your head and then the apple cider vinegar and, you know, it suds up, it sizzles, it bubbles and all that stuff. And it just really cleans out your locks. If you had lint, any type of buildup from using products, gels, whatever you were uh, using in your hair over time, and especially if you use that stuff consistently, you definitely need a lock detox. And I would recommend having this done at least once a year. I don't know what took, well, I do know what took me so long to have this done because up until this point, I was always searching for a decent lactician. So having a lock detox got put on the back burner for me. But now that I found a steady one, I've been going to this person, it'll be a year, I wanna say next month. So finally got this on the books and we did it. So, the whole process itself took maybe a half hour because, you know, you have to lay back and let that stuff soak and really do its thing and clean your, your locks. And she came every 10 minutes or so to like massage it in, massage, you know, make sure it was, you know, she was massaging in my locks. And then, um, let me tell you, laying back in that shampoo bowl for that length of time is not comfortable. We need to find a better way to do this, a more comfortable way. Like there needs to be some kind of shoulder or neck thing, um, cushion of some sort, because that is not comfortable at all. But I toughed through it and um, I loved hearing the sizzle. I don't know if you like like that or is into that, but it just I just felt like, oh, it's working. It's cleaning my hair, it's cleaning my locks, just getting all that dirt and buildup out. And, um, before she let the water out, she let me look and see how dirty the water was. And really, the dirty, the, the dirty, the water wasn't that dirty. It wasn't as dirty as I thought it would be. But then I had to think, well, Sonia, you don't use products. I don't use gel. I don't use heavy um, conditioners or shampoos or any, you know, I don't put anything heavy in my hair, heavy oils or greases. So... I was pretty impressed for four years, you know, being lost for four years and this being my first detox, I thought that was pretty good. And she was even impressed because she said she's seen lock detoxes where the water looked like mud. And I'm like, that's pretty disgusting. But so um, important things to remember about lock detoxes is because you're using apple cider vinegar, which is acidic and it can eat away at your hair and you're using baking soda, which is very abrasive and can break off your hair, you have to make sure that you shampoo and rinse really well. She shampooed me about three times and then um, and made sure that she rinsed very thoroughly each time. And also because she used so much, I wanna say she used two or three boxes of baking soda plus a big old thing of apple cider vinegar to really clean my locks. And so she shampooed me thoroughly. She rinsed me thoroughly. Then she did the deep conditioning. And that's important because you're cleaning your hair so deeply, it, it is stripping your hair. Um, so you have to put that moisture back in with a deep condition. So she gave me a deep condition and put the plastic cap on my head. Then I sat under the dryer for about 10 minutes and then rinsed me, 
She squeezed out as much water as she could with the towel and then she proceeded with my retie. I let her do a style, which is this. Super cute, right? Very cute. And um, it's not tight at all. And this is a record for me. This is the first time I've, I've left a style in this long. Today is Wednesday. I got this done Sunday. And that's only because this is not tight at all. And it does not bother me when I sleep. The other time that I let her um, do a style on me, I took it out because I couldn't sleep in it. It was it was uncomfortable. So, but this this is very comfortable. It's very simple, and um, I like it. I think it's cute. So, I would say you should do a lock detox at least once a year after your um, lactician gives you the okay. If you're if you're if you have new locks, do not. You need to wait. Um, I will probably wait until your second year of being locked um, before you do a detox. Um, but for me, I think I will do this once a year, just based off the fact that I really don't put products in my hair. I don't use a lot of stuff, so I think I'm good for once a year, but it's definitely a good thing to do. Um, the benefits that I've noticed right away after having this done is that my hair feels my scalp, my hair and scalp feel really, really clean. My locks feel lighter. They do not feel heavy. They look better. They don't look dusty anymore. Um, there's like a sheen to it, to them. And um, I just think you should do it. it. My hair feels really, really good. It feels light. It doesn't feel rough. And like I said, it, they don't look all dusty and ashy. <laughs> I guess you could say hair looks ashy. I felt like mine looked ashy. So I think this was a really, really good thing for me to do. And um, I think everybody should do it, like I said, at least once a year. Like if you, especially if you do a lot of styles, you use a lot of products, I think you should definitely have a lot detox at least once a year, if not twice a year, if you use a lot of products. Um, that was pretty much it. That was pretty much my overall appointment lasted maybe two and a half hours um, because I had the lock detox too. So that was fine. It was, um, it was pretty easy breezy. We were able to take our time. She was in no rush. I was in no rush. Um, she didn't have anybody else coming in after me. So it was it was a really nice experience outside of my neck killing me from being you know laying back you know for so long for 20 25 minutes um i know you can buy the blow up portable um hair washing tub like you blow it up the only thing is you would have to lay that on the floor and you would have to lay on the floor to do your own uh, lock detox. You could definitely do your own lock detox at home. There are places that sell um, these, you know, like bath bombs. They're like shampoo bombs um, that detox your locks. You just throw it in the water, you lay back and let it do its thing and you know, or you could do it yourself, have somebody help you with the apple cider vinegar, the baking soda, and the lemon. And um, so you could definitely do it yourself at home. And I know those tubs, you can get them at Amazon, the blow up ones. Amazon sells them and some other places sell them. You may be able to find them at Walmart. I could have sworn I saw them at Walmart, but I know for sure Amazon. Um, so, you could definitely do this at home if you would rather do it yourself and not um, spend extra at the um, shop to have it done like me. Y'all know I will very happily hand you my money so you can take care of my hair. Um, what else? There was something else I wanted to talk about. Oh goodness, I think I covered I think I covered it. That was that was like the main thing was to talk about the lock detox and what my experience was like. I had a really good positive experience 
with it and I will definitely do it again. And um, I definitely recommend anybody with locks um, who've had locks more than a year to have a detox. I think they are very beneficial. You do need to be careful. You should not do them too often again because the acid in the vinegar, um, it's acid. It'll break your hair down. Too much of anything is not good. And that's, you know, lock detoxes are meant, you know, to be done every once in a while, not on a regular basis. You don't want to be washing your hair every single month, you know, using apple cider vinegar and baking soda. So my hair did not stink afterward. My hair was less smelling really, really good. The lemon, they rub lemon in your hair to help with the smell, to try to offset the smell of the apple cider vinegar. Um, and I feel it worked because when it was all said and done, my hair smelled really, really good. And I think also because of the shampoo and the conditioner she used, they smelled really good. So, um, yeah, you, I smell no remnants of the apple cider vinegar. So that's not a worry. At least it wasn't for me because I went to the shop. Um, what else? I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, I want to say hello to my new subscribers. Thank you for following me and welcome. And um, I hope you enjoy my channel and please chime in in the comments. If you guys have any experiences um, with lock detoxes, please share them. I want to hear about your experience and what yours was like. Again, mine was really, really good, very positive. I enjoyed it. I'm glad I did it, and I will definitely do it again. Again, like I said, I'll be doing mine at least once a year. Um, I did want to mention, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, y'all. I had my mammogram early this morning. I got my results back fast. Everything was good. There were no concerns. And I just say this to say to encourage all of you if you have mothers, sisters, cousins, aunts, grandmas, um, friends, please encourage them to get their mammograms um, and please get them regularly. Stay on top of them. Um, too many of us are dying of breast cancer and a lot of women are getting it at younger and younger ages as well. So please stay on top of them do not go years without getting your mammogram. This is too important. I try my best to stay on top of my mammograms and my other annual checkups um, because we just have to and you just never know. And when you have cancer, you know, running in your family, you especially need to stay on top of these things. So y'all get your mammograms, make sure the women in your lives get their mammograms. And if you have a history of cancer, or if you know your friends or whoever, anybody in your family has, if it runs in your family, any type of cancer, you need to get checked out. Don't play with this. So um, just keep that in mind. Breast cancer awareness, um, shout out to any breast cancer survivors out there and many prayers and hugs to anybody that's dealing with breast cancer fighting it right now so please get those mammograms y'all and um, take care i will talk to you guys later like comment subscribe share take care